And there's a name on this list too that like could if he played and definitely probably next year could have been like the number one overall pick. Possibly or two. I'm not tripping with on Shaden Sharp. I mean, like you guys, Jeff, you you know more than Spencer and I on this one, or maybe you do. I don't know. No one really knows a lot about this kid. But. Right. It's hard to you don't yeah. have a lot of film on him, but yeah. Uh, the thing I can say about Shaden Sharp is. One thing you see is is honestly just the athletic ability right away. You can see the the bounce he has. Other than that, though, I mean, the number one player coming out of high school. I mean, number one ranked, uh, committed to Kentucky. Every school wanted him, of course. But not playing his freshman year, there's always question marks. You're going to look at guys that played their freshman season and wonder, okay, this guy is, uh, I feel, and I hate the word safer, but I'm taking a guy who I have film on during his freshman season. I don't give a damn. I mean, guys have came out of high school before. Yes. And Jaden Sharp is a guy that, yes, you mm -hmm. might need to be a little more patient in his development. When he pays off, he pays off. I think he has the highest upside in this draft, and I still think that. Kyrie Irving played like 10 games at Duke. He did. Not he was even, injured. You know, yeah. and, and we've heard some some talk that, it well, we know it wasn't an injury. We know he was healthy. He was ready to play. Pistons talk, Anthony, our guy back here, said the reason he didn't play was because he was cooking everybody at Kentucky practice. He was murdering Ty Ty Washington. He was putting those guys out there. And so they're, you know, all the prospects, everybody there was, and their agents were telling him, like, all right, chill. Like, like we need these guys to be top prospects. We need these guys to go high in the draft. And if they, if, if Shaden would have played, he would have stole the show from them. And that's, I've, I read a couple articles about that today, and it was like, uh, Kentucky assistant coaches were saying like that was in the plan all along. Was uh, Shaden was not going to play his first year. Like this is the plan. He's not going to play, and he's going to come back and he's going to lead this team and dominate this team his second year. And then he just said, "Fuck it." He said, "I'm going to get paid. I'm going to make millions of dollars." And more power to him, man. Yeah. You're like fuck that. If you're ready, go. I, I, yeah. I, they shouldn't even have to go to college, in my opinion. I was, I was just going to say that. I'm like, especially with the NBA's heading, like, yes. guys are going to start coming out of high school anyway. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the fact that people are that scared to take a guy who, yes, took his freshman season off, you're still practicing with him, like your point, what yeah. you were just saying. So mm -hmm. I don't get the question marks, man. I mean, that, he's talented. I would, I, If Sacramento fumbles that bag yeah. and does not select him and he's sitting at five, <sighs> and, I don't know and, how you don't take him. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know yeah, how. He's, and, he's literally the only guy outside that Jim I was talking about earlier that I would want. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah. yeah, and this guy, this guy is like he's six five, six six. He's got stupid bounce. Apparently, he he had a forty nine inch 49, vertical, yeah. and like Michael Jordan's was forty eight. Michael Jordan's was forty eight. Yeah, you said that on BDE today, <laughs> and it's insane. What I see, I was watching his AAU highlights this morning when I woke up, and it was it like. Freak athleticism. We haven't had a freak athlete like that in a long time. Like I'm talking, chin at the rim. Arm cock back the yeah. ear like stupid dunks, yeah. and, and he is an NBA level shot maker. Yeah. Where he's hitting these, that's the big one. He's hitting these step back threes. He's hitting these crazy buckets, shooting from thirty feet, doing anything he wants. Obviously, you see here posting up guys, dunking on people. Should we pull your mic away from the levels? Or he no? plays bigger than what he is, and it, it's it's tough to see you know an argument against him, especially when you're comparing him to uh, a, a Jaden Ivey or somebody like that. And I just, I'm really excited. I really hope we get this kid. And yeah. To me, my, my to heart, me. Before you go, I just want to yeah. say, my heart tells me in this draft, number one overall, you got the magic. They're going to go a big. They're going to get a big. Whether it's Chet, Jabari, I feel like it's going to be Jabari. But again, and then you have number two, you have Oklahoma City. Probably going to go Chet Holmgren, in my opinion. You, you get a, you get your center. You, you get another piece of that core to build with. Mm -hmm. Three Houston, they're going to go Paulo. Paulo Benchero. I think what, in my opinion, what's, unless they trade it out, which we'll get to that too. But what, what really is the big one is Sacramento at four. Yeah. What does Sacramento do? I'm assuming, and listen, Sacramento's been taking guards, I feel like, the last four or five years. Yeah. I don't know what. Every draft they take a guard, and people, oh, they're going to go big. I think they're going to take another guard. I think they're going to take a two guard. Yeah. Whether that's Jaden Ivey or Sh Shaden Sharp, I think that's going to help dictate what the Pistons do. Because if they take Jaden Ivey, and this kid falls right into your lap, I don't know how I don't know what you do, but if they take Shane Sharp, then of course uh, that's why I'm kind of leaning Jaden Ivey as well or Keaton Murray. Then yeah, I, I, discussion. I look at this kid Shane Sharp, and I think like this is Jalen Green, in my opinion. Like if, if he would have if we'd have paired K with Jalen Green, I, I I have no clue. I also have nothing really to base off because we didn't see him play. But to your point about Anthony Pistons talk saying that the reason he didn't play, which I don't know if this is true because it doesn't make sense to me, but essentially that he didn't outshine these other dudes. Well, guess what? He didn't play, and he's still outshining these other dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's still projected to go yeah. over them, like even now. So it's like I, that's it's, that's it's just weird weirds concept. me out. Yeah, it's a weird concept, but it is what it is, man. Like, 
look, Kobe Bryant out of high school, LeBron James out of high school, Kevin Garnett out of high school. I'm not tripping taking this kid out of high school. If he, the 49, he's obviously extremely explosive. He's only 18 years old. He's going to yeah. turn, what, 19 on 30th, we were looking at, Jeff? Yep. Like, dude, this, this may even be have like an uh, Anthony Davis situation where he continues to grow even after he's been drafted. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think you take the chance because even – there's just there's such a such a fucking high upside to be honest. And just to see him in the backcourt with Cade, I mean yes. he, he's a polar. It feels like not a polar opposite, but like you said, Cade less athletic, fundamentally he plays the game at his pace. Then you have Shaden Sharp who can jump out of the gym mm -hmm. and do things that you know, it, it, like you said, a high level shot maker. Um, he's going to be a great defender because Dwayne Casey. This is what they're going to preach to him, and he's so incredibly yes. athletic to get six, him that young to mold. Yes, yes, six five, six six. He has a seven foot, nearly seven foot wingspan. I mean, that's absurd. Yes, that's, that's absurd. And, and, and you got a forty nine inch vert. Like that's a Troy Weaver's prospect. That, that is what he looks for: versatility, athleticism. Um, I mean, that he checks all the boxes. So it would make perfect sense. And, and for me too, I woke up this morning wanting Keegan Murray. You know what I'm saying I, I plan to go on BDE and, and and you know preach all that shit. But you guys sold me on Shaden Sharp. Like I said, that the fact that with, with you know LeBron, Kobe, all those names, that just sold me in.